What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I'm having a great day. I'm having a really great day. And today I'm excited to share something with you. So a lot of you know that the other day I went to Bath and Body Works and had an amazing time. Bath and Body Works was gracious enough to give me the entire store to myself. And I had a ball. I looked at all of the products. I was able to smell everything look at everything it was just pretty much a dream come true if you're like a bath and body works lover and i definitely am so a lot of people in the comments wanted to know what candles i got what lotions i got all the scents that i just everything that i got so i just want to show you guys some of the things that i got so i'm going to do that in a couple videos not one video because it would be a lot to put into one video really but i'm going to start with my first group of candles that i got i got about like 10 candles total and um i had a gift card y'all trust me i was not in there balling like that i had a gift card but i got about 10 candles total and i'm going to start off with showing you about four or five of them today and these are the ones that i've been burning the most lately just trying to get a feel for how they smell how they they um, throw just the whole essence of Bath and Body Works candles if you're a candle lover you know exactly what I mean so let's get right into these candles okay so let's start with crisp green apple I guys I loved this candle and I'm not one of those people who's going to say I loved it for every item you know those people who are like I absolutely loved it oh my gosh and I got this and I absolutely loved it they say I absolutely loved it for everything when they're doing a video like this that is not me um, but this I absolutely loved it like I really love this candle and I'm gonna explain to you why first of all let's look at how this one is packaged this one comes with the silver top so a lot of people are into what kind of tops they come with this one comes with the silver top and then I want you guys to take a look at the pattern on this jar beautiful right that is absolutely gorgeous and I'm sorry for the amount of times I'm going to say cute, beautiful, and gorgeous. And absolutely, absolutely is going to be one too. Sorry about that. Um, but this one is gorgeous. I really love this. Um, I don't know if you can see the metallic foil on the candle. The silver flowers are actually like metallic. So it gives it a really nice shine. Especially when the candle is going. You have the lights dim. I really like that. Now let's talk about the smell of this apple. Crisp green apple smells like a tropical resort tree like I don't know how else to say this it the apple tones are very very strong but that is not all you can also pick up strong pineapple which is what makes this like oh my gosh a dream this is very fruity very uh, like spritzy the fruit is like juicy like a really really juicy fruit now here's the difference with this one this is one thing that kind of um i had to sit there and let it burn and i was just smelling it i walked in the room out of the room to try and catch that scent that i was getting that i couldn't put my hands on so i made a few notes i was putting my notes about the candles in this book so every time i burned a candle i would let it burn and while i was burning it while i was going in and out of the room if anything kind of caught me any scent catches me i just pull out my notebook and write it down so i want to look at my notes and see what i wrote about this candle I have loved it with an exclamation point on there because I really did love it. Now, it's super fruity, but here's what kind of confused me. It says crisp green apple and it's really festive. You know, you can see all of the greens, so you know you're going to get an apple smell. But um, I was expecting more of a citrusy, just citrus, no, no sugar, just a citrus smell, no sugar. But you can smell the sugar in this. So it's giving me more of a warm baked apple kind of undertone, which I was not expecting. I was expecting all fruit, all citrus. And in that strong, don't get me wrong, you're going to get a lot of citrus. But for me, a plus was having a warm smell as well as a fruity smell. And I would never think something like that would work, but it really did work. It definitely has a really fruit, like a tropical resort but it's a tropical resort where they have fresh fruit out and they might be baking something in the back not like it's a baked apple pie don't get me wrong it is not giving me christmas vibes at all this is giving me vacation vibes all day long so if you're really into candles and you want to know this is important because candles are not cheap and you can only smell them in the store so much we all do it we're sitting there hmm what is this you know we're all smelling it in the store but there's only so much you can know smelling it in the store so that's why it was really important to me to write down everything about it it's a warm fruit 
as opposed to a bright fruit like a star like you're eating a starburst so it's great it's perfect it's summer all day but at the same time that sugary smell that's underneath kind of gives it okay so I'm at a resort they have fresh fruit out I'm at the Bahamas the wind is blowing I can smell fresh pineapples and apples but someone is baking in the back kitchen and it smells like they're just baking apples not baking an apple pie but just apples and you can smell that too but it's really faint but yes it added something for me it definitely added something for me the next candle on my list is going to be peach sugar cone so let's take a look at the packaging first that's the first thing we're going to do it has this nice white top which is really popular now with a lot of the baked scents. I will call this kind of a baked scent because it says peach sugar cone. I'm finding out that everything at Bath and Body Works that has like a sugary tone to it, they are not lying. You can smell that sugary tone which gives it a warm smell. And for me, I love that because even though it's fruity, even though the ones with the sugar in them, they're fruity, a lot of times they will transcend seasons. You could easily burn some of these in the winter and still get that cozy Christmas feeling. So that's why I really love that they're adding that sugar into most of them. So let's look at the packaging. It's really nice. It's just basically ice cream cones and peaches, which I absolutely love. Smelling this candle, I don't know if I got a bad batch or what, but it was very subtle. It was very, very subtle. It did not have a big throw. I couldn't smell it very far out of the room. I burned this one in my office. Um, it wasn't overpowering. It wasn't strong like some of the other ones get to where I'm like, okay, I can only burn them for a little while in a closed-in room. This one, I burned it for a while. Look how much I burned. And this is from one burn. This is from one day of burning this candle. So I burned it for a little while. Oh, I gotta trim the wick. But I burned it for a little while. And um, it just wasn't overpowering at all for the amount of time that I burned it. I couldn't really even smell it out of the room so it wasn't overpowering and it wasn't loud. It didn't even have a big throw. So with this one you're not going to get peach cobbler vibes. You're not going to get baked peaches. It's not a cobbler. It's not a pie. Um, it smells like peaches nearby. Like a peach stand is in the distance. Yeah, it smells like a peach stand, like a stand of peaches is nearby. That's how it smells when it's burned and then you get a slight waffle cone smell, like a sugar cone. Not even like a waffle cone, but like a sugar cone. With this candle, it smells amazing, but because the throw is so faint, it just, it didn't do it for me. And I hate to say that this candle would get like a six from me. And I know that's a really harsh and low score, but it, it just didn't do it. If I had to compare this smell to anything that I've smelled in my life before, it smells like I just went into an ice cream parlor. I mean, if I were to close my eyes, I literally just walked into an ice cream parlor and smelled cones, sugar cones and sugary ice cream. So it's a really beautiful smell. It smells sweet, like sweet ice cream. It smells like peach ice cream. Like you're in an ice cream parlor and they have nothing but peach ice cream and sugar cones. That's exactly what it smelled like. So it was beautiful, but the throw was so weak that it was just a no for me. So a six out of 10 for this one. Okay, so next on my list is banana bunt cake. Y'all, this candle, this candle. Oh my gosh, before I get too far ahead of myself, let's look at the top. It has that same white top, that new white top that they're using. And then this is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice, makes you want some cake. Okay, so this one first caught my eye just because it said, um, bunt cake. Cake, right? So I love all of those kind of sugary scents. So of course you see a pattern with me. You see a pattern. So banana bunt cake, um, the yellow caught my eye. It just seems so beautiful and so bright. When I started burning this candle, y'all, oh my gosh. First of all, I couldn't burn this with a closed door at all. This is so strong. The throw on this is so strong. And if I had to tell you something that it smells like, it smells like buttery 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 banana bread to me it smelled like buttery banana bread i don't know if you've ever burnt the pecan and waffles candle before and how strong that is and it just smells like buttery waffles this smells like buttery banana bread like buttery oh my gosh yes so and then you get that cakey that cakey smell 
up in there which is more subtle but that buttery bread smell buttery banana bread like you smell the banana oh it's so good and the throw was just going all down the hall oh my gosh this candle so it had a great throw i'm sorry i'm just going i'm fangirling right now over this candle but i loved it um the banana smell is great i mean it doesn't smell like you have bushels and bushels of banana because that bread smell that buttery bread smell um really kind of takes over but the banana gives it that fruity smell that makes it perfect for summer so it's not all warm winter no not at all but would i burn this in the winter around thanksgiving definitely yes because people coming over would be like oh my gosh it smells so good like you're baking something but it smells like you're baking something festive and happy with bananas so definitely like a summer dessert so this one for me was a 10 it was a 10 strawberry pound cake i really really love this one y'all i absolutely love the strawberry pound cake this is why it smells exactly like what it's called it smells exactly like strawberry pound cake my expectations were super high for this one if you watched my last video then you saw that i was like going crazy over i hope i get a strawberry pound cake candle and they had one so i got it so strawberry pound cake it smells like a strawberry pound cake i wasn't disappointed at all it has the silver top and it has metallic decoration so that's what the packaging looks like it's very nice it's metallic it burns well it has a regular throw nothing dramatic like the banana bunt cake it's not like banana bunt cake and so dramatic that oh man i have to open the door it's too loud no but it is very strong to the point where it's just normal like a good candle like what you expect when you buy a candle you want to light it and you want to smell it so with this one that's exactly what i got i lit the candle let it burn for a little while and then that strawberry cake smell started to come in now it's not like a cake that's baking it's more like a cake that's cooled okay so it's like you walk into a cake shop and they have these beautiful cakes and you can just smell fresh cake strawberries cake and strawberries so it had a very cooled cake smell which i love so it wasn't overbearing like a christmas time baking smell more so like strawberries you could smell fresh strawberries and then you could smell like maybe like a sponge cake pound cake it wasn't strong at all so i really love the smell you mostly get strawberries and then you get that creamy cake smell so this was perfect i'm giving this one a nine it's a nine in my book so this is definitely towards the top last but not least i have white caramel cold brew y'all this smells like a fresh cup of coffee like not even just like a fresh cup of coffee like expensive coffee like you just went to starbucks and just got a nice frappe with all the whipped cream on top that's what this smells like it really does smell like a white caramel cold brew you get all the caramel from it and you get all of that you know like that iced coffee um smell like that nice it's a hot day and i want to drink some iced coffee i want those caramel vibes but i don't want it to be too christmas dark that is the smell I'm getting like I have my favorite scents are usually like dark and warm scents for the holidays I love things like mahogany teak wood I love any aromatherapy type smells all of that kind of like it smells like a spa if I showed y'all the candles that I burn all the time you would be like why are you burning that in the spring in the summer some scents I like year-round I love the smell of chocolate and caramel all year long and a lot of people don't like that but with this candle I found the perfect kind of like right now smell because this one is not as oh it's the holidays as some of the other ones that I burn all the time this one has a bright I'm drinking iced coffee smell then it also has that cinnamon smell so it says it's supposed to smell like cold brew coffee vanilla sweet cream warm caramel drizzle and essential oils in my opinion it really smells like all of those things it definitely smells like what it says it's supposed to smell like if i had to rate this one i would give it about a nine because the throw is really amazing and it smells exactly like it's supposed to i'm definitely giving this one a nine so out of all the candles 
out of all the candles that we talked about today I really loved most of them honestly it was just the peach sugar cone that was a no for me it wasn't a no I don't like it it was just a no I would not spend my money on it again if I wanted a peach candle that really smelled like bold peaches I would go with Georgia peach I burn the Bath and Body Works Georgia peach candle all the time and you really just get peaches it's really just peaches like if you want peaches Georgia peach is going to give you that really nice peachy smell but the peach sugar cone it really did have more of a sugary smell and then peaches were the undertone so I loved it I mean it smells great you get peaches in an ice cream store but it just wasn't as strong as it would have needed to be for me if it was stronger maybe I got a bad batch like I said but if it was stronger and the throw was like better and I could smell the peaches mix in with the sugar a little bit better then yeah it would have been like one of my favorites completely because it's a beautiful scent but it just didn't do it for me so that's it for this video I just want to say if you're not really into candles and Bath and Body Works and you watch this video just because you love me thank you and if you watch this video because it's something new to you and you were thinking about getting into candles um, thanks for watching and I just would say if you're thinking about getting into buying candles Bath and Body Works has smaller candles too and they usually have sales on those candles the candles that I buy are three wick candles um, if you're not familiar with three wick candles they have three wicks inside so you can light each one to burn it and you get a more even smell like a more even burn but a lot of people are not um, used to burning candles some people want to get into that some people are really afraid to burn candles because they're like I'm not that attentive um, I would suggest that if you're just trying to get into starting to burn some candles just have one near you and put it in a great place away from any other things around it if you're like nervous about that or get a nice candle holder because Bath and Body Works has some really nice ones so you won't have to worry about it and then just you know put a timer on like on your watch or on your phone to remind you to blow it out at a certain time to just put the lid on because I don't blow my candles out um I used to snuff them but I just really don't like the smoke so when I'm ready to put them out I gently just place the lid back on and it extinguishes them which to me keeps the smell in the room and keeps the smell of smoke out of the house so if you're not used to it just get one of the one wick candles it only has one wick inside you just light that it burns a little bit and um, set a timer and turn it off when your phone goes off or your watch goes off you won't forget and that's like the best way if you're not used to it and you have fears of oh I'm gonna go to sleep set an alarm you set an alarm for everything else is really that easy and start off with the small candles and see how you feel about them I promise you'll fall in love so that's it for this video I'll see y'all on the next Bath and Body Works video I know this might not be one of the videos that gets like tons of views because this is not my usual thing but I'm sure there are some of you that like it so all views aside I'm doing it because I love this I love um, fragrances and scents and I know some of you ladies do too so for everybody that watched thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video no matter what it's about